the boys just quietly set up two Gen V characters appearing in Season 4. Two Gen V characters look even more likely to appear in the boys Season 4 after the release of a brand new promo video. The first live-action spin-off in Amazon's The Boys franchise, Gen V proved to be deeply connected to its parent series. As well as big cameos from Homelander and Billy Butcher in Gen V Season 1's ending, the college-based spin-off introduced a soup virus that could potentially trigger the shocking conclusion from Garth Ennis' original comic book series. Because the two shows are so closely linked, it's no stretch to imagine that members of Gen V's cast will appear in The Boys Season 4. Based on trailer footage released so far, The Boys Season 4's story will revolve around the aftermath of Homelander very publicly murdering a protester at the end of Season 3. This will spill over into The Boys' wider feud between Homelander and Starlight, while the public divides its support behind one or the other in a not-so-transparent parallel to the political split in real life. Because of this, Vought will be on the defensive in The Boys Season 4, and will need all the strong soups it can muster after losing Starlight, Black Noir, and Queen Maeve as former members of The Seven. The Boys Season 4's Super Bowl promo teases Gen vs Kate and Sam. In promotion of The Boys Season 4, Amazon dropped an uber-patriotic spoof Super Bowl commercial championing American values, Vought's various heroes, and, horses. Among the saccharine montage of Red, White, and Blue sits one shot of Kate Dunlap and Sam Riordan from Gen V striking dramatic superhero poses. In Gen V's Season 1 finale, Kate and Sam spearheaded a soup uprising at Vought's Godalkin University, and were subsequently praised by Homelander for their efforts. Kate and Sam were touted as heroes by Vought's news channel, but what might happen to them next remained unclear. The Boys Super Bowl commercial spoof strongly gives the impression that Vought is continuing to market Kate and Sam as the company's exciting, young new suits. The shot's hammy production has the vibe of a sports team introducing its newest star player, which suggests Vought will capitalize on Kate and Sam's public momentum from Gen V to turn them into replacements for the various suits scrubbed from its books in Season 3. Whether Kate and Sam will go so far as to join the Seven remains unclear, but they will evidently be active soups under Vought's banner, which makes omitting them from the Boys Season 4 very difficult. How Kate and Sam can appear in the Boys Season 4, and what their roles could be. The Seven is the weakest it has ever been heading into the Boys Season 4, while Starlight switching sides after her Season 3 power-up makes Butcher's crew considerably stronger. Kate and Sam are indebted to Homelander after he protected them in the Gen V Season 1 finale, and both teams share the same Supes first philosophy that is increasingly motivating Homelander ahead of the boys Season 4. It seems natural, then, that Homelander could direct Kate and Sam to attack Butcher's gang when the two sides inevitably clash. Kate and Sam would both prove incredibly useful in a fight against the boys. Gen V openly compared Sam's physical strength to Queen Maeve's, meaning he would make light work of even Starlight in a fist fight. Kate, meanwhile, ranks as one of the most overpowered soups in Amazon's entire The Boys franchise, and is virtually able to rewrite reality with her psychic manipulation. Kate could turn Starlight against Hui, make Butcher's team attack each other, or trap them all within a mental prison. While Kate and Sam featuring in The Boys Season 4 is becoming increasingly probable, especially after the Super Bowl video, their appearances will likely be limited to guest spots, saving any major character development for Gen V Season 2. Showing up in The Boys could further cement Kate as a vengeful anti-human villain in league with Homelander, and could continue Gen V's hints that Sam is experiencing a moral struggle over whether to follow Kate or listen to Emma. This would only consolidate what Gen V Season 1's ending already started, leaving the big twists and turns for Season 2 of Amazon's spin-off, 